In this next section, we get to the metric units. And the metric units is, is really um, the most commonly used measurements in the world. Like we discussed prior, there were a few places, nations that used the US customary system. But in, in physics, in the sciences, we use the metric system. And we also use the metric system in nursing, um, in the hospitals. Like if you recall, um, you know, if you uh, have children, when you're in the hospital, when your child is born, they tend to weigh the baby in grams and then they have to convert that to pounds. But if we were in, let's say, Europe, we would always have our measure in grams or um, stones is a com another common one. So, all right, uh, the metric system is exactly what you know it to be, um, but it's really interesting because it really does break it down to a very simple way of measuring. Back in the US customary systems, we had for length, we could think we had like feet, inches, uh, miles, right? Capacity, ounces, um, gallons, right? And then even with um, weight, we had pounds, tons. We had so many of these different prefixes, right? And the abbreviations to memorize them. Well, with the metric system, what is really nice, there's only three measurements. The three basic measurements are meter, liter, and gram, each of which is length, liquid, and mass. So gram is mass, liter is liquid volume, meaning capacity, and then the meter is length. So um, we're going to break these down. Now, each of these, obviously, we can have more meters and less liters and more grams, but these are the basic three units. Okay, so I encourage you to, like, highlight this table. Now, we start here in this middle part where it's a meter, gram, liter. So it doesn't really matter what the, pre what the measurement is. The metric system goes by powers of 10. And the reason why we go by powers of 10 is because maybe from chapter two, what we learned is we count in base 10, right? The Hindu Arabic numerals. So it makes sense why we have the metric system because we count in base 10 and we should have the metric system. So that's where it all connects now. It should all sink in. So here, notice that there is no decimal here. In when you have one meter, there's it's just one meter, one gram, one liter. So now, right here is when you become to have a decimal, where one tenth, remember, is 0.1. 1 over 100 is 0 0.01, and 1 over 10 cubed is 0 0.001, 1,000. Where this would be 1, 10, 100, and 1,000. So notice to the left of the decimal, it gets larger, and to the right, it gets smaller. So if we wanted to go back into like our second grade math where we learned about powers of 10 and we moved the decimal over, the how we remember the metric system, really how you were taught, and we're going to have a more sophisticated way now, but now there is a simple way where if you were going to start in the any measurement on the left side of the decimal, meaning kilo, hecto, deca, so this is where you start on this side, and you're going to go past the decimal over, so large to small, essentially, then you're going to multiply by that power of 10. If you were to start on the right side of the decimal place, meaning the smaller numbers, right, deci, centi, milli, this is where you start, and you're going to go larger to larger units, so small units to larger units, right? Then we divide by the power of 10, or 10 to that power. So it's the same idea. Now, these deci, centi, milli are the prefixes to each of these basic units. So we can have a kilometer, a kilogram, a kiloliter.
We could have a hectometer, hectogram, hectoliter. These prefixes are fixed. The only thing that changes is your measurement, which could be length, mass, or volume. If you're doing mass, then you could have a decigram. If you have volume, you could have a milliliter, right? So all you need to do is see um, if it's liter, then this is the prefix. So for example, now let's go ahead and see which following sets of three units are all metric units of length. So right away, we see that um, inch, foot, and yard is totally out there, right? So no way, right, because that's customary. Kilometer, centimeter, millimeter, those are all um, metric systems. Kilogram, centigram, and gram. Yes, yeah, so this one was length. And this one also is the metric system, and it was mass. We don't call it weight, we call it mass. And the reason why is because weight in the U.S. customary system does weight, which is mass times gravity, because gravity is different as you get closer to the equator. So weight is a little more accurate as far as where you live in geographic location of the world and its gravity pool. And mass is just how much is actually weight without gravity. All right, how about kilometer, decimeter, and foot? You're like, mm, foot, okay, those are all length, but foot is not metric, right? So no, right? So in order, all metric measurements are always gonna be meter, gram, liter. So no, you can't have like foot meter, right? Or, um, you know, pound, gram, right? So it's either gonna be US customary units or the metric system. So let's try some examples. So what I wanna do first before conversion factors is actually use this basic way of converting units. So in this first example, if I go from kilogram to grams, so I'm going to kilo to gram, so I'm going large to small, I would multiply by this power of 10. So if I have one kilo, so kg is kilogram. So k would be the kilo and g is for the gram, okay? And so if I had one kilogram, I would multiply this by if I start at kilo and go to gram, then I multiply by 10 cubed. And that gives me 1,000 grams. So see how you can use that simple uh, table. So if I had one centimeter, so again, um, uh, C is equal to centi and M is equal to meter. So centimeter, so I'm at centimeter to kilometer. So centi to kilometer. So I'm starting here, going there. I would divide by the pow this power of 10. So I would say, okay, here I'm not exactly in the middle, so I have to count. So how many? 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th power. So once again, from centimeter to kilometer. Now, I just want you to realize that here's grams, which was um, mass, right? And here is meter, which is length. So again, the prefixes are de changing, but the units will not. They're always gonna be like that gram, meter, liter kind of type. And so once again, if I go from one centimeter, right, and I go this way, I have to divide by the number, I have to count the decimal places. So I start here, one, two, three, four, five. So then I divide 
by that power of 10, 10 to the fifth, because I had five decimal places from centi to kilo. And what that gives me is one over one zero 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 ten thousand um, kilometers km. Now, if I wrote this in a decimal, it would be point zero 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 one kilometers. It just depends on what, how you want to write that as a fraction or a decimal. Okay, so now the other one, notice, now it's hectoliter, milliliters, so you should see that as liquid volume, or in back of your mind, capacity, right? And so we're going from hecto to milli, so hecto to milli. So I'm starting over here, and I'm going this way. I have to count the decimal places and multiply that by the power of 10. So hecto to milli, hecto one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to multiply by 10 to the fifth. So I have one, oops, hectoliter. So H is hecto and capital L is liters. Okay, so capital L. Don't use a little L that's taken from something else. Okay, so big L, hectoliters. And we're going to multiply by 10 to the fifth. And that way you get 10,000 milliliters. And so M is milli. like that. So you could see how like knowing that metric system and where it lies, we can convert pretty quickly. So, but if we use conversion factors, we have this huge giant table of conversion factors. In fact, I go all the way from 10 to the negative six, all the way to 10 to the six and everything in between. So here is kilometers, um, hectometers, megameters, decameters, meter, 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 meter right? So um, this meter can be changed. In this case, it could be replaced with meter, liter, or um, gram. I just put meters there. Instead of doing the same table three times, I just did it once. So Again, you would use um, meter. Now, micrometer, um, you would, we would use meter in this table, but a replace meter with whatever context of the problem that we have. So I just want to note a couple of things. Um, micrometers has this little mu here. And so that's a Greek lowercase m, mu, and it's called mu. Okay, and mega meters here, that mega is capital M. See, it was already taken, so you couldn't use it for miles, right? So I just want you to notice, and we can always use these. Um, again, there's, a, there's either this or this way up here. Now, I want to do conversion factors only for the fact that that's what we um, have been doing in the past. So let's try a few problems here. If I want to convert 7,225 centimeters, I could definitely put this over one and use the same process. But what's nice here is I don't have to use more than one conversion factor because all I have to do is count decimal places and um, or see here that one meter is a hundred centimeters. So here I would have one meter because I need this in the end, right? So that should be the numerator. 
per 100 centimeters. So notice even though there's many units in between meters and centimeters, it doesn't matter because we just need one. That's what's so nice about the metric system. And then you'll notice that centimeters reduce out and you get 7225 times 1, which is 7225, and 1 times 100, which is just 100, and then meters. So this will mean that we move the decimal place twice and we get 72.25 meters. Okay, let's try this one. So 32.5 kilometers, I'll put this over one. Well, we know from up here that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. And if I need meters in the end, that has to be the numerator. So I know this is going to be 1,000 meters per one kilometer. And so we reduce those kilometers out and get 32.5 times 1,000, and then divided by 1 times 1, which is 1, and then we have meters in the end. So we can just move this decimal over three times, 1, 2, 3, and we get 32, 1,500 meters. And again, be careful with the prefixes, right? And so remember micrometers? Micro is the little mu, and mega was the capital M. So if I want to take 5,425,119 micrometers, I'll throw that over one. Now, all I need is to go now from micrometers to meters and then meters to megameters. I also could just count, well, it's six, um, it's six here and say, okay, it's six decimal places to meters and six more to mega and know that it's 12 places, right? Six plus six is 12 decimal places over, and I'm going from small to, to large, right? So that means I would be dividing by 10 to the 12th. Well, let's see how that works. So the first thing we know is that there is 1 million micrometers to a meter. So 1 million micrometers to a meter. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Times one million meters to one megameter. Two, three, one, two, three <laughs> um, meters. So here, remember that this is um, micro to meters, and this is meters to my mega. And so the units reduce out and we're left with mega meters as we wanted, but we do get 5,425,119 divided by 1 million times 1 million. mega meters. So it's going to be a pretty small number. And we can see if we go to the calculator, we're going to get 5425119. And then again, because this calculator is pretty awesome, we can go ahead and do the million times a million in the denominator. Now you can put 10 to the 12th if you want. But I'm just going to put exactly what's on my paper because I think that's a little bit um, easier on the eyes versus like doing, thinking about it. So notice here we get 0 0.000005425 and then it would be 119 because if I took it all the way out, it just can't display that much. 
And that makes sense because a really small unit like a micrometer, of course there's going to be a lot of them because if one million meters, I mean one million micrometers fits into one meter, if you're going all the way to the other end of the mega, then that means that you're going to have a really small number of megameters that fit into that micrometer.